Hey guys, so saying and welcome to the YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you the VS Code Killer. So what am I talking about? The VS Code Killer, Hussein, what the hell are you talking about? I'm talking about the cursor. So what is a cursor? A cursor is the fourth version of a VS Code, and you can think about that is like a VS Code, but with a lot of AI power. <laughs> and I'm totally aware of the AI extensions in VS Code, but this is something different that I'm talking about right now. So I happen to be using a Windows, so it automatically detects my operating system right here. But you can also install it for Mac and also for the linux as well so they're calling themselves as the ai first code editor okay so you know what let me just ask from this ai like what is a cursor okay so it's going to just use their definition like a cursor is an ide built for programming and collaboration with powerful ai okay so that's there now let me just ask another question uh is cursor free to use so it's going to give us that cursor has a free version available but there are also a cursor pro version that cost only 20 dollars so you can just go to this cursor.sh and it has amazing learning page right here like very supremely impressive um learning page right here okay so we are not interested in that i'm gonna just go ahead and go to the pricing and we are going to be using the free version and you can go ahead and use the pro and also the business version if you wanted to but here you can see for the free version we are also getting access to the gpt4 and we can we are also getting to the ai power quarter and all of that stuff totally for free so now let me just go ahead and click on these features right here and it has awesome features so the first one we have is a command k and we can just provide our prompt right here and it's going to just generate all of that code for us and then we have a copilot plus plus copilot plus plus is the cursor native autocomplete feature and it is more powerful version of the copilot okay so the more the most powerful version of a copilot which is the copilot plus plus and we can also chat with our code and we can also provide a sample a specific line of code or a specific function or interface or something like that we can also go ahead and go to the code base and also documentation the auto debug and the fixed learn so there are a lot of things you can do with that so what i want to do is that i want to download this so now let me just click on this button and now it is installing so it's going to just take a while and it is now successfully installed and here it is now asking us to open some sort of a folder right here and yeah i am going to just open the folder but in your case this will be totally different why is that because it automatically grabbed all of my vs code extension and all of their settings that i was using so you know what let me just create a folder right here i'm gonna just give it the name of like demo or something like that and now let me just grab that right here and let me just put that right here inside there this is totally a vs code like you can open the command palette you can hit command b and command b to open and close the sidebar you can do a lot of stuff with that but now let me create a file and i'm gonna give it the name of like index i want index.js right here so now what i want to do is that i want to hit Control k and i'm gonna just provide my prompt right here inside there so i'm gonna just say like uh create a reverse function in javascript or something like that and now let me just click on this generate or you can also hit enter right here so it's going to generate that reverse function for me so you can also provide the follow-up instruction if you wanted to but in my case i'm going to just hold control and hit enter right here so there you have it it's going to create that reverse function for us right here okay so that's the that was the first example but now let me try out another programming language so like index go dot uh go right here let me just try out the golang programming language and i'm going to just hit control k one more time and i'm gonna just say like add function in golang okay so now let me just hit enter so it's gonna just create that function for me right here and it is now using the function result keyword and it's also giving us all of their types and every single thing right here and here comes the best part and one of my favorite part so i'm gonna just give it the name of like app.jsx in this case and now i'm gonna just ask it like app create app component right here a little bit jsx or something like that so now let me just hit enter so it's going to just generate that component for me and now let me just hit control enter so it's going to give us that welcome to our app and this is a simple react components <laughs> that's supremely amazing but what i want to do is that i want to show you the final feature which is i want you to just hold control or command and hit l so it's going to just give us this input field right here and we are now using the gpt4 and and the cursor fast <laughs> and it has a lot of them but we can also mention a specific function and we can also ask a question about that we can even provide our own images and it's going to just generate our code based on that images so what i want to do is that i want to close that i just open my index.js file right here and i'm going to just say like add symbol and now let me select this reverse function right here i'm going to just click on that and here you can see it's going to just give us all of their function and i'm going to just ask a few questions like uh how does this code 
works and now let me just hit enter right here here you can see it's going to just explain all of their code for me like the reverse function is the provided javascript code reverse a string and blah 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 you can learn more about that you can also ask like if there is some errors or something like that now let me just remove this uh execution from here i'm going to save this file and now let me just re-mention that once again so i'm going to just say like uh reverse right here in this case i'm going to just select that and now let me just ask him like uh what's wrong with this come on this code okay and now let me just hit enter the issue with the provided code is the way split is used split is a method and you should do this and you should provide the parentheses and all of that okay so that's the most amazing tool i have ever used and from now on i'm going to be using this cursor a lot so yeah that was a quick video about a cursor and i hope you enjoyed it